Brandis, thank you. Property tax assessments are out today for much of Chicago's north side, and they show a 14% rise in assessments for residential properties and nearly 50% for non-residential, including commercial properties. The amount of property taxes one pays is based on the assessment, of course, so this potentially means higher property taxes for a lot of property owners all across the city. Cook County Assessor Fritz Kage has vowed to fix what has been a broken assessment system, but it's caused some pushback from business owners who fear it could put them out of business. And joining us now is Cook County Assessor Fritz Kage. Assessor Kage, thanks for being back here. We mentioned the system under your predecessor. Multiple audits found it to be regressive, inaccurate. How have you changed that system? Well, actually, there, well, first of all, thanks for having me, Paris. Uh, we just had a study that was published by the gold standard, our gold standard in our field, the International Association of Assessing Officers, and they looked at the first phase of our reassessments in the north suburbs, and for the first time, our assessments are within industry standards for equity, accuracy, and uniformity, um, and that's made a big difference for folks in the north suburbs where. Uh, property tax, residential property taxes are up much less than they uh, have been in the previous decade. And uh, we're building confidence. You know, a lot of studies have shown that our numbers are, are being much, much more accurate. And that's the whole point of assessments, that they're supposed to be an accurate snapshot. So we divide up the property tax burden amongst us all fairly. And, and one of the things you've done is shifted some of the burden from residential to commercial. Uh, and let's look at some of the, the numbers in Chicago this year, because this is the year that the city is getting reassessed. The reassessment happens every three years. So for commercial, it's up 82 and a half percent there. Does that necessarily mean that these commercial properties are going to pay that much higher in taxes? It does not, uh, because uh, assessments are uh, dividing up a pie. So the, whole, the overall uh, base is expanding in Chicago by about 44% uh, so far. So um, uh, because the pie is growing each share, even though assessments might go up, property tax bills won't go up as much. We saw similar shifts when we reassessed the North suburbs, the one that just passed uh, the grade for industry standards and commercial property tax bills were up about uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of eight or 10%. So the, the, what people need to know is that a change your, in your assessment definitely doesn't involve the same change in your taxes, and it can oftentimes go in the opposite direction. There are hundreds of thousands of people whose residential assessments went up but actually paid lower property tax bills because they have a smaller share of the burden. And, and studies are showing that our, uh, our assessments are more accurate, and so it's a fairer division of the burden. At the same time, we have heard from some commercial property owners. One owner in Albany Park said that his assessments had tripled in this year's assessment. And let's hear from two uh, business owners in that property, one Ultimate Ninja and Twisted Hippo Brewery in Albany Park. If we're going to survive, we may have to do it out of the city, out of the county, out of the state. I don't know at this point. We've spent the last two years plus in uh, survival mode in pivot mode and this is just one more potential move that we're gonna have to make we feel like we've brought a huge value to the neighborhood but the problem is um, you know it's not it's, we, we wouldn't be able to stay if if the prices went up that much in taxes Assessor Kagi, your response to some of these business owners who say their assessments in this case have tripled but have gone up so much that it it puts their business in jeopardy well, remember, part of uh, in assessments is you're supposed to take an accurate snapshot of the value of buildings that are out there. And certainly, I empathize with them that the impact of COVID has impacted small businesses like them, hotels and restaurants. And we take into account those effects when we do our reassessment. But we also have to remember that the, the last time that Chicago was reassessed under the Barrios administration, studies showed that on average, commercial properties were 50% underassessed, especially the biggest ones. And that meant that small businesses like theirs and homeowners uh, were sh shouldering too much of the burden for those big uh, corporate buildings downtown. And because, you know, Cranes has looked at our revaluation of the buildings downtown, they've shown that our numbers are not only accurate, but even conservative, that will reduce some of the burden of higher assessments on small businesses like these. And it's just a reminder that a, a rise in your assessment doesn't involve the same change in taxes. And we know that small businesses up north in the north suburbs 
um, were shocked by increased commercial assessments, but when they actually got the bills, the, the, the change was not nearly as large. And the key thing is we have to remember that homeowners in neighborhoods that have experienced depopulation and disinvestment, they've had to shoulder the burden of the distortions that were there before. And writing this ship is important for fairness to everyone. So re reiterating the point that e even though these folks may have seen giant leaps in their assessment, it doesn't necessarily uh, predict the corresponding rise in their property taxes. But, you know, a lot of business owners have told me they understand um, the need to right size the system to fix the system. But does it all have to happen at once? Can it be phased in again for some of these commercial owners that are seeing higher assessments? Well, well Paris, do you remember what year I was elected? Uh, I don't remember any elections at this point, but 2018. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was 2018 and it's now 2021 and the reassessment only affects people's taxes in 2022. So really there's it's been this has been four years coming um, and you know all of those years we have to remember that people were shouldering the distortions in the system that existed under the assessments of the Barrios administration. So uh, again, studies that were done by the International Association of Assessing Officers and Cranes just did a real good look at our uh, commercial assessments. They said that they're not only on the money, but actually could be said to be conservative. And so we're getting within industry standards for the first time. Now, we always acknowledge that we walk humbly that we can get assessments wrong, and that's why the appeals process exists, especially for smaller businesses where we have to differentiate the circumstances from the big ones. And, and we do note those studies that have uh, said that, that the system has produced more accuracy than in the past. You mentioned the appeals process. There are multiple ways to appeal. There are multiple uh, infamous property tax appeals lawyers, namely Ed Burke and Mike Madigan. Uh, does this mean they're going to get a lot of business uh, right now uh, trying to appeal some of these numbers? Well, the, the good news is that because we're within industry standards uh, in places like the North Suburbs where we did our first reassessment, we're starting off more accurately. So uh, homeowners and businesses don't have to pay extra fees just to correct something that should have been done right in the first place. We're starting to see results on this. Appeals are on track to be down uh, for the third straight year at our office and allows us to concentrate on those cases where we are off the mark. Um, and we remind people you don't have to hire a lawyer. We put in place a system where appeals to our office on the commercial side are anonymous and we look at the data um, and this is all a part about building confidence in the system overall. And being accurate at the outset is the most important thing we can do for everyone, whether you appeal or not. All right, and part, part of the issue with commercial owners is that Cook County, as I read, is the only county in the state uh, that taxes commercial properties at two and a half times residential. Is that, is that something that should change? Well, what we have to remember is that this is pretty common in the rest of the country. In the neighboring state of Indiana, it's part of their constitution. Uh, in places like Minnesota that have a thriving economy, our East and West Coast peers um, have differential rates. So it's not an obstacle to having a, uh, a good investment environment and it's not unusual. I do think what we need to do in this state is reduce the burden that is on all property owners in shouldering the cost of educating our children. We're dead last in the United States for school funding at the state level, just 25% of our school district funding uh, comes from the state. In most states like Indiana, it's closer to 50%. And if our state was chipping in or the federal government was chipping in more for educating our children, property tax burdens would be lower for everyone. And I think that's more important than ever in this time of the digital economy growing, which kind of gets a pass from having to shoulder the education of our kids, which is what most property taxes are for. When you say digital economy, very quickly, you mean taxing online sales and all that. Sure, we're doing this on Zoom right now. I'm not aware that the state collects any income from Zoom. All right. Uh, but, but Zoom generates income. And things like this need to be shouldering the cost of educating our kids. And as our economy gets more digital, there are more and more things out there that are generating economic activity, and we don't want the burden to all remain on people who own property. Sorry, it's going to become sorry, more, more uh, of a discussion. Uh, certainly, certainly something uh, more to look into, but we are out of time. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Paris. Thanks for everyone.